Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and guess what? It's that time again. Time for more Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor. And, you know, we've got a long list of quests still in front of us. Uh, we did quite a bit in the last stream. Um, I feel like we were very productive, even though it took a lot longer than I thought to go through the Temple of Light. But uh, this stream, we have several things that I'd like to knock out. Some of these side quests, like we need to visit the Temple of Dark as well. Uh, you know, we need to kill this dragon, we've got to steal this bow, we still have bounties, the dragon egg. So I've got a little shopping list I've put together that we're going to try and kind of mark things off one at a time during this stream. But uh, what I'd like to do to kick things off is, you remember our friend Niles Stantley, right? Uh, the one who had dirt on Mr. Malwick, who originally gave us that wand of fireballs. And who, you remember, leads the mercenary guild here. That's the dude that tried to strong arm us when he called in that favor and wound up attacking Harmondale. Well, of course... If you didn't see that stream, definitely step over to my YouTube channel, and uh, you can find that video there as part of my Might and Magic 7 playlist. Give it a like because um, we don't take kindly to folks who practice extortion against us because we're the only villains in Harmondale. So, why are we here today? Well, we're going to pay a little visit to Mr. Stantley and return the favor. You'll notice that we have all of our buffs on, but, <laughs> uh, we are not going in invisibly. No, no, no. We want him to know that we're coming today. Oh, yeah. Because, see, having done a little mercenary work ourselves here and there, uh, you know, we're a little short on cash, and we know that the best way to get it is to, well, take it from other people, right? So we're going to start with Mr. Stantley. The Mercenary Guild is home to every swordsman who fails at banditry. Visitors are unwelcome, as you can see from the spikes which deter people trying to climb the walls. Well, that doesn't matter because we're going straight in through the front doors. Final Fantasy VII style. Mm. Come on, let's go in! Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, if you're missing it, be sure to stop by my channel on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because uh, my husband, Specific Pixel, and I are playing the OG Final Fantasy VII. He's never played it before, so it's a blast. Oh, look at these guys. This is just not going to go well for them for a number of reasons. Uh, not least of which is that uh, recently, Suroma, of course, became a grandmaster of both body magic and spirit magic. So what does that mean? Well, if you've been following along, you know that heroism and bless don't last for very long. Well, they do now. Heroism, 16 hours. Bless, 16 hours. Hammer hands affects everybody. Regeneration is souped up. And we managed to get our hands on a copy of Power Cure. Hmm. Is this the best y'all can do, really? I mean, we been new when we came in here, right? This place isn't a threat, and ni neither is Niall Stanley. <laughs> Ow. Well, these being archers, we're going to close with them. Oh, look at that. Her dodge skill kicked in. Did you see her duck down in her character portrait? I love when they do that. Usually you see that when the perception skill kicks in and they dodge a trap. But if you actually have the dodge skill, then of course that's going to take place. And you're going to get that animation when they dodge physical attacks as well. Floor cash. Well, we're off to a good start because you know how I love some floor cash. Hmm. We've got a little jail cell in here and everything. Hmm. With a secret door, no less. 
Let's see where this goes. Oh, my goodness. Champions of the sword, you say? Well, if we can take out archangels, we can take out these guys, right? Let's have see. A problem with this one. 280. That's not that bad, especially since we've got stone skin on, right? Here's what we're going to do, though. We're going to make them come to us for sure. Now, if we can shoot them, of course, we're going to shoot them. But at the same time, I mean, look, right? They're not archangels. Whatever buffs they may have that they can cast on themselves, like you hear them casting heroism. Uh, that's not casting Day of the Gods, which is what the archangels were doing. And see, by standing at the top of this slope, we can also kind of cheese this a little bit as well, because they have a hard time making it up slopes and staying there. These sprites do, so that means that we can give them a couple of hits and then you're going to see them slide back a little bit. They're going to spend all of their time moving up to try and hit us. And very little of their time actually damaging us. Now, of course, when they do hit, they pack a wallop because uh, that heroism spell, just like it is for us, is no joke. It adds quite a lot of damage, but... But, but, but. Is but a we are the more powerful. I can't help. Oh, he doesn't know. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the skills that we can't train up yet. We still need for him to become a bounty hunter, which means, of course, hunting some bounties. He doesn't qualify for the grand master level training of the skill yet, even though he has ten ranks. But we'll get there. There we go. This Master of the Sword is actually harder than the Champion of the Sword. This is sort of our not-quite-mini-boss, that's not the right term, but the hardest person in the room, besides us, of course. It does bear say. Ooh. A little healing is called for. But that's alright, because uh, we have a little bit of healing available because shared life now that she is a grandmaster is going to add four points per point of skill to the pool when we spread out everyone's health and redistribute it which is great and of course like i said we managed to get our hands on power cure which we've needed so heal great skill right five hit points plus five per point of skill that's a lot for her that means that one casting for two sp is going to heal minimum 55 hit points, which is a lot. This, on the other hand, is going to heal 10 plus 5 per point of skill and body magic. That's 60 minimum for her at 10 ranks to everybody at once. Now, it is a lot more expensive. But it's also worth it when you need it. Wish we'd had it in the Temple of Light last stream. Of course, these heal spells at 2 SP are a lot more affordable. You're going to get 15 castings of that per one casting of Power Cure. So we want to play it a little bit, like, frugally, if we can. We're going to have Suroma do mostly just the heal spell, if possible. But we have those other options available if necessary. See, like right now, we're going to go ahead and do another shared life. You can see that puts Simone down in the yellow, but she has over 400 hit points, so that's going to refill Tuvok and Suroma both to full, and Zoltan, like, most of the way to full every time that we take her hit points and borrow them, which I love. I've said before I really enjoy the concept of that. Can't barely hurt. But, but also, scratch. it's just, you know, really effective. And think about it, she doesn't even have Grandmaster Bodybuilding yet. 
which is something we'll be working on soon. Ow. Boom, 109 points. Man, he's got a lot of health. Gracious. Okay, now let's go ahead and actually do a power cure. There we go, because uh, we're running low on the pool, we don't want to steal all of her hit points and leave her with nothing. Not to mention, if we take them all and redistribute them, then, you know, eventually we're not going to have anything left. Boom. Can't barely hurts. <sighs> Simone, thank you. Scratch. Just deal with it. Ooh. And now we just oh, finish we them off from here. This Goodness. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Zoltan has the right idea. <laughs> he's dead. Very weak. Hmm, that's fair. Oh, is there one left? Yep. Thankfully, he appears to be caught on geometry. That's why he wasn't part of the battle a moment ago. So, if he can't get out of there, then, I mean, we can just do this forever, right? That's going down at a pretty good clip. Of course, we could close with him and kill him much faster in melee, but why endanger ourselves, right? I mean, if we don't have to. There we go, we've almost got him. We're not nearly as good with bows as we are with melee weapons, but that's fine. Now let's see. Uh -huh. This is probably going to blow up in our faces. I had it. That's all right, my dear. Ooh, look at all that cash. Goodness gracious. Ooh. Witch's amulet of ID item plus 16. Good thing we don't need that. Ooh, a wand of distortion. Not bad. It'll be worth a lot of cash if we don't decide to use it. Very weak. Hmm. We can enchant those. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Ooh, and a letter from Mr. Malwick. Hey, now. Niles, I believe I've found a group of adventurers who will meet your needs. They have some ability, but appear very gullible. I will do my best to get them to accept a favor from us. Once duped, I am sure we can use this favor owed to our advantage. If they do not wish to repay us for this favor, we can always arrange for an accident to befall them. Hopefully, this group will meet your needs and you will arrange transport off of this rock. I look forward to leaving this accursed island. Malwick. So, of course, <laughs> we uh, definitely proved him wrong, I would say. Right? I kind of hope he's still stuck there, but I also kind of hope that he's not, so that maybe we can get a little revenge on him, too. Let's see, orange, orange, and green. Two Voxbin gobbling up all of the orange liquid. Let's share a little with Zoltan. Let's see, endurance. Oh, Suroma definitely gets that. Any of these boxes clickable? Hmm. 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 I can't remember if there's a secret door here or not, but apparently not. No problem. Okay, let's see what we got here. Spell points plus 15. Hmm. I don't think that that's going to be a huge upgrade for anybody. No, okay. Well, no problem. We can just sell it. And, uh, let's see. We had, I think we had a ring that was plus quite a bit to his ID item skill. But now that he's a Grandmaster... 100% success every time. So we don't need bonuses to ID item anymore, thankfully. Mm, the secret door shuts itself. This also looks like a trap. Ow. Ah, it was. 
Hmm, no problem though. Okay, let's move right along. We're gonna put stone skin back on. Earth magic is probably his weakest, but... Ah, uh, more traps. Oof, another one of those guys. Bleh. Bleh, hate it. Are they gonna... Huh? No? Do they not chase? Oh, there's one. Okay. Well, let's start with the little one then. He'll go down pretty quickly anyway. Look at that damage. Even Tuvok is hitting for almost 50 a pop, and he just has a stick. Man, I wish that we could see this guy's stats, but it is what it is. I gotta get that bounty hunter promotion. Well, we're over one-tenth of the way there. Who else is hitting us? There's no one behind us. Okay. Barely hurts. Hmm. This one's not hitting quite as hard. I say, and then immediately he critically hits and kills someone, I'm sure. Thankfully, regeneration also now lasts for many, many hours. Since Suroma is a grandmaster of body magic. And that's great because uh, that defrays a lot of the healing she has to do. When we take one big solid hit, then of course that character is going to need some emergency healing. But, uh, you know, the little ones and twos that we get, the glancing Just blows that scratch. shave a little off of our health, Help me. those we don't have to heal as much because uh, someone is a little bit low, like just a little not quite topped off, like, uh, like Zoltan right there, then as long as he doesn't take one of those big hits, then no problem, he will recover on his own. Is but a scratch. Tuvok's the one we really have to protect, just because so much of our firepower is bound up in him and his spellcasting. Which is ironic, considering the fact that uh, the enemies that we're facing right now, really we don't have to use an enormous amount of magic against them. We're hitting so solidly. Spellcraft just really isn't required for the most part. We can conserve a lot of his MP. But he also has the lowest armor class and the least health. So... And then on top of that, he has invisibility, he has teleports, you know, Town Portal and Lloyd's Beacon. These are the spells that are going to get us out of trouble if we get into it. He's our escape guy. Ow! That means that he's no good to us if he's knocked out. So we have to keep him up on his feet in order to access that water and air magic. Oh, yes! Oh, y'all are about to have a bad time back there. Just step in here and do a little of this. Oh. Sad times for you. Anything? Nothing? Hmm. Wild that there are actually drawers in this, right? It's not something you'd expect. Now, of course, there's not treasure. That's different. Good. Another treasure room. This is where all the treasure went. Okay, let's see. Purple and yellow. That's speed and accuracy. His accuracy is a little low. 
Actually, I guess Zoltan is going to get both of those because he has the lowest in either case. Alright, Simone. We're going to do a safety and then let's have her start popping these chests open. Ow! I thought I had it. That's fine. We knew what was going to happen, right? Very weak. Huh. Very weak. Ow. Listen, it's free treasure too, Bach. Come on. Haha, -ha, the heart of the wood. Now, this is for a quest we actually don't have yet. So, it's a good thing that we came here and got it, right? Because then, when we do get that quest, it's now just free experience points. Ow! Just a cut, but I need Oops. it fixed. Cash. Very weak. Ooh. <laughs> Resistant to insanity. We've not run into that yet in this game, thankfully. Very weak. Very uh, weak. Y'all who were Very here for Might weak. Magic 6, do you remember... Um... Do you remember fighting the warlocks? And they were constantly driving us crazy. Just uh, what a pain. Well, we're off to a great start with this room. Y'all want to come over here so we can reach you? Time. Ow. He was just going to hide around the corner right out of uh, melee range so that we couldn't shoot him. Which I mean that's smart, but still. It's undesirable from our point of view. Let's see, purple. Now whose might is suffering? Hmm, actually, Simone. And this is going to be, what, yellow and red. Okay, so red, yellow. Oh, and you may notice that some of their stats have taken a jump, right? You're going to see some 80s and 90s and 70s here. Okay, that is because now we are at the stage of the game where um, we have access to some of the highest level alchemist shops. We've not been doing a lot of shopping at alchemist shops. And the thing is, they are very important, just like magic shops, because alchemist shops... Ow! Oops. Hey. Oops. Glad you could make it. Very weak. Um, alchemist shops are going to sell very weak. high level potions, very of course. Weak. Just like high-end magic shops Ow. are going to sell powerful accessories, Oops. amulets and things like Very that, right? Weak. Well, so, uh, of weak. course, what are the high-end potions? Weak. Well, in this case, Ow. those are going to be white and black potions. I thought I had it. Ooh, a divine restoration. Nice. go. Now, of course, Tuvok, he is an alchemy expert. He's almost a master. He just needs a couple more ranks and we'll take care of that. Then he'll be able to make white potions without them trying to explode in his face. But unfortunately, he'll never be able to make black potions because those require you to mix white potions. And you can see here that training level is red for him. So even though he is fully promoted, it's just not something he's going to be able to do. Ow! Unfortunate, because black potions it. are the most powerful in the game. Now, you have seen some I can't fit anymore. of what the black potions can do. Um, you know, you've seen... Torchlight's got two hours. Stone skin, I'm going to recast that. Um, you have seen things like stone to flesh, right? Which are great. Um, however... Weak. What you haven't gotten to see are a lot of potions like pure endurance, pure luck, pure might. And each of those adds 50 permanently to a statistic without any consequences or downsides. Now, this is different from Might and Magic 6, 
when uh, you did take a penalty. It would be like it added 50 to one thing but took 15 from something else, right? No longer the case. In this game, it's just a pure free plus 50, which is really great. And it makes the alchemy skill, like, super worth it to put points into. Makes it worth sinking 10 ranks into that. Where otherwise, um, you might be hesitant to do that with this, you know, that particular skill. There's no reason to hesitate here. Because it's it can be hard work churning out black potions. Um, but... The black ones are the most powerful, and those are the ones that are going to do this kind of thing, you know, access this level of power for our characters. High statistics mean high rolls, high damage, high everything. We love when numbers go up, right? Video games. The numbers gotta go up. Look at this fancy meeting chamber that they have here. Goodness gracious, and we've got green gems. Ow! I thought I had it. Boom. Very weak. Huh. Hmm. Speed plus nine. That's probably better than something that somebody has, right? Accuracy plus two. Earth resistance plus three. That's... Yeah, come on. Here. I'm not even going to keep looking. There we go. That's about it for the Mercenary Guild. And you know what? You know who I didn't even see anywhere? Niall Stantley. I didn't see Niall Stantley any place. Probably because we chewed through these folks so fast. I didn't even notice him. That's right, Mr. Stantley. You're nothing to us. Nothing. Well, I would say that was a highly successful venture. So, we have the Heart of the Wood. We'll get back to that quest a little later. Since we have access a to a weapon shop already, we're going to go right ahead and just... Thanks. Come again. Take advantage of Very that. Weak. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. That's the same kind of weapon Saroma is using. Let's see. Five points of body damage and plus two disarm skill. Oh, well, that's not as good as what she has, honestly. But no harm done, right? We're going to let him hang on to the uh, heart of the wood. This. There's no room. I know there's no room. Here's how we'll do this. There's no room. I'm gonna cheat just a little bit. Come on, recover. There we go. Let's see what we get. Plus five speed and accuracy. What is his? Increased weapon speed. Now, of course. He, as our best archer, has a griffin bow. It's already enchanted. Increased weapon speed. And let's see. Yours is 5 points of body damage. Increased weapon speed. 5d2 plus 4. You know, I think that that's worth it. I think we'll just let him keep that. There's no room. Now, yes, there is. Come on. Need a new weapon? There we go. Excellent. And I'll even check his stock on the off chance that he has something worthwhile. Thanks. Come again. Yeah, I didn't think so, but you never know. See anything you want? All right, we'll sell off all of this stuff as well. Do you have anything any good? Nah. Thanks a lot. Not really. You'll have to get rid of something first. Yeah, of course. Well, See that's alright. We'll just pop in and back out again. And then what we're going to do next is 
Um, since we are already here, since we're pretty high level at this point, and um, since we have all of our spells on, we seem to be doing fairly well, I you think what I want to do first. next on our want? list is uh, we're going to take this opportunity to cross off the Crusader promotion quest. You want? And we've had this Thanks one on the lot. books for a while, right? So. There we go. The Crusader is the second promotion of the Paladin. Now we still, despite being evil and having chosen the Path of Dark, have t Sir Charles Quixote, like, just flummoxing around with us for some reason. I don't know why he tolerates our company. I don't know why we tolerate his, frankly, but whatever. It's fine. So all we have to do is tolerate him for a little longer... As we head into Romthrax's cave, there we can take on the dragon. Hopefully, we will defeat it in one go, and that will basically be free experience. We'll talk to Sir Charles Quixote, he will promote us to Crusaders and then leave the party, we'll be free of him, and then we will immediately have access to the next Paladin promotion quest, which we can do as part of this video. So, a nasty odor wafts from the entrance of this cave, propelled by an unseen subterranean breeze. It smells like decaying meat mixed with brimstone and... peppermint? Whatever. Looks dangerous. And it is dangerous. Come on, let's go in! And we have Torchlight on. You probably can't see him back there. You may be able if you squint, but... There's Romthrax. Now, he is so far away right now because the cave is so large that our jewels are actually green they feel pretty safe so we're going to take this opportunity to see whether or not Zoltan can tell us anything Romthrax is not a standard blue dragon he's a little bit weaker I believe because he is of course a quest monster Here we go. We are also going to put some protection spells on. Because we're not foolish. There we go. He's just hanging out all the way over there. Let's go after him. Because, of course, once again, he is a dragon. But we are the stronger. Right? Right? I hope, anyway. Oof. Let's see. Ow. Oh, that didn't hurt at all. Look at that. 15 damage. Okay. 15 wasn't much, but it was sufficient to see a change in his bar, which that gives us hope. 26 damage? Yeah, see, we've got this. 55 damage, look at that. He's already going down. Now, like I said, he's not a standard blue dragon because he is... He's one of the rougher, like, enemies at the level, I guess, they presume you're going to fight him. Always. Just like when they give you almost exactly the same quest in Might and Magic 6. Kill a dragon to become a paladin. Or to upgrade your paladin self, I suppose. Right? Right? But, uh, Ow. it is a second tier promotion quest, so you are just going from Paladin to Crusader. Ow. So, he can't be, like, too awfully bad. I can't help. Ow. Because otherwise, you would have no chance at the appropriate level of killing him. So, he has to be fightable, at the very least. I don't know. He's got some good damage Ow. resistance, you can see, but uh, thankfully, Tis but a scratch. his breath attacks aren't doing nearly as much to us as we are to him. Ow. So we're going to defeat him pretty handily and then be done with this. Excellent. Ow. 
this is a big change from Might and Magic 6, because in Might and Magic 6, of course, um, you have to defeat a dragon to receive your top tier paladin promotion. And this one, they switched it around, so... Ooh. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, look at that. He's running from us, folks. He's running. Ooh. Okay. Any of these could be the final hit. So, you'll get to see us do in our first dragon of Might and Magic 7. Oh. And there it is. Oh, what a large blood spatter. Boom. Boom. Check it out. Ooh, actually, both of those should go to Tuvok, shouldn't they? This is a reagent. Dragon's Eye is perhaps the most powerful red reagent. So, see, power 50. That's the red version of the blue toadstool there. Ah! And check that out. Angel's Ring of Air Magic increases effect of all air spells. Now, that is a random drop. That's not guaranteed because an Angel Ring is just a type of ring. That's just what it looks like. See? So... Increases the effect of all air spells. That's similar to the fairy ring. It's just that the fairy ring is... It's not quite an artifact. This is just a rare and really powerful enchantment that, you know, any item can theoretically have, especially an accessory. It's just very hard to get, so this is one of the only ways that it's guaranteed to happen in the game. This is a super rare drop. The, I, the odds of that coming from him, very low, just because... Um, dragons are high-level enemies, and they're always going to drop high-level loot as well. And, you know, so that's great. Uh, but there are so many things that he could have dropped that it just, you know, it could have been anything, and it was that. Now, the other person, of course, who has air magic is going to be Zoltan. He can't get expert yet, but he'll get there, and expert air magic is better than nothing. So, uh, his luck is off the charts right now so I think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plus five ring of luck and we're gonna replace it with that there we go and of course that's a scaling bonus just like the fairy ring so right now it's only plus one when he gets up to four ranks it will become plus two so he'll have a total of six ranks in air magic now ta-da Sir Charles Hurrah! The dragon has fallen! Truly thou art grand crusaders in good standing, with a fine deed behind thee. I would stay and sing songs of thy bravery with thee, but duty calls. Surely we will meet again, crusaders. He is so chipper considering that he has stood passively by at the tail end of the party and just watched us commit all of these atrocities like in the Temple of Light and stuff. So of course it's going to be really funny when we click on this and he says, I will not have truck with thee further, scoundrel. I see now they hath chosen the path of darkness. Mayhap they should seek a villain like thyself for training. Yes. Yeah, we probably should. Actually, that's great advice. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Charles. Thank you and goodbye forever. We're going to do a quick circuit of the cave here. Just to make sure that we don't miss any treasure. There's this big open, like, area of water in the center. And I think that's it. He doesn't have much of a horde, does he? But then again, quest monster. So, you know, he's not intended to really have much of a hoard. He's intended to enrich you via experience points rather than cash. Alright. Well, once again, definitely some good work. Okay. Well, we are just cutting through. Look at that. Okay, now this page is basically all of the quests we're not going to do right now, or can't do. These are the ones that we want to focus on, right? So, uh, we also want to go and grab that villain quest. Where is that? Well, you may recall, if you have been 
watching the entire series. Let's see. We have... Uh, no, I didn't set one. Darn it. That's fine. You may recall that uh, I mentioned at one point Ow! a specific um, house outside in Deja that we were going to, you know, treat as important a little bit later. It's closed. Oh, that's right. It's still daytime here. Well, whatever. That's fine. We don't need to shop anyway. So we're going to go back to that house, and that's where we're going to pick up the villain quest. Instead of heroes, we will become villains, officially. Well, and actually, that's kind of the hilarious part, isn't it? Is that uh, even though we chose the Path of Darkness, because y'all decided to go with a monk, a sorcerer, a, uh, a cleric... And a ranger for our party build. We don't have a paladin. We're all going to be <laughs> honorary villains. And that is just so funny to me. Now, um, of course, I did pick up, as I said that I would, you know, various different levels of training. Like uh, Saroma is a master of the repair skill now because that was really important and we were hurting for it. Uh, but there is one that I wanted to save. I wanted to do it while y'all were here. Let's see if I can find... And of course, it's going to take me seven tries. That's Harley Quinn. That's the only one that I know for sure. This one? Nope. That one? Nope. This one, perhaps. No. No, well, which one of you is it? This one? Oh, hey! Ah, uh, yes. We couldn't get this quest earlier. It wasn't available because we had not yet chosen the Path of Darkness. So I'm glad I stumbled in here because I knew that this was a quest and had forgotten about it. So, I have recently gained information that the forces of Queen Catherine in Arathia have begun to build a force to attack Deja. Because of the difficult terrain, they've begun to breed and train griffins to assist in their attack. These griffins are being raised in both Arathia and the Bracada Desert. I need you to kill off all the griffins in those two areas so that the Arathians will be forced to drastically delay their plans of attack. No problem. We got you, bruh. Okay, so, now we will head back this way. That'll be fun, because Griffin should be no challenge at our current level of power. I love that we can put all of our buffs on and just mostly forget about them, except for, like, Torchlight and Stone Skin. See, we are all over the place, going from map to map, teleporting around and not having to recast all of those spells. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and here's a contest, too. Contest of Might. We should all be able to pass that. Boom. You win five skill points. You win. You win. You win. Harpies, get out of my face. Get out of my face. We will come back in just a moment to our skill trainer. Let's see. This one? No, that's stealing. See, I told you. I'm going to go in every single one of these houses, and it'll be the last one that I check because I cannot remember where she is. I think before I go over there that it's one of these. That's Meditation Expert. Uh, please let it be this one. Yes, here we go. Jasp the Nightcrawler. So, Dark Magic. Both Tuvok and Suroma qualify to be Dark Magic experts. And of course, Seth is down in the pit. 
So I will worry about Master Dark Magic later. That will be important, especially for the Griffin quest, because what I would like to do is... Another spell learned. That'll be useful. I would like to pick up Master Dark Magic so that we can learn Armageddon. Uh, that is the spell that uh, Debbie went a little power crazy with back in Might Magic 6. Because, of course, in order to become Masters of... Um, dark magic, you had to have a terrible reputation, right? So then the easiest way to take care of that and make it happen was to just wipe out a whole map. So we went back to New Sorpagal and zapped the place. Well, uh, we're going to do the same thing with those griffins. We're not going to go around and individually fight all of those, although we could. It's much easier, don't you think, to just take our dark magic and just blast the entire map in both Erathia and Bricotta, especially considering that since we have two dark casters in the party, they can take turns doing it multiple times. And here we go. William Setag. Yes, good day, William Setag. Villian extraordinaire at your service. Good to make your acquaintance. And I just want to draw your attention to this is another one of those terrible joke names. William Setag. Setag backwards is Gates, William Gates, Bill Gates. Why he is the villain trainer, I'm not 100% sure, but here we are. Anyway, let's get down to business, shall we? I know you are well aware of my standing as the blackest villain in Arathia. It requires effort and drive to prove to be this evil. I hope you have the medal for it. I would love nothing more than to keep you in my training for years and teach you the finest parts of being a villain. Unfortunately, I am under pressure to speed up your tutelage. From whom, though, like he never mentions. Unfortunately, uh, let's see. to this end, I have a direct way to learn the arts of villainhood. Uh, there is a woman, Alice Hargreaves, who is of noble blood and pure character. Capture this woman from her residence in Castle Griffinheart. Return here and imprison her in my tower. Complete this, and I shall promote all crusaders in your group to villains, and the rest of your group to honorary villains. Yep, that's, uh, that's the only appropriate reaction. Okay, so, what we're gonna do now is... Let's see. Temple of Light... <sighs> Huh. Okay, so on the one hand, that's kind of like our working dungeon, Lloyd's Beacon. But I also hate to save over it because that allows us to get directly into Celeste using the invisibility spell um, without having to go through the Bricotta Desert. And of course, we can get from Bricotta to Celeste and, you know, back and forth both ways. So, um, I think I'm actually going to leave that one because Celeste is more important since it has, uh, like the item shops and stuff that are really high level. It's, it's better that we have one there and can teleport straight to it, cast invisibility and get right out to that end of town where the shops are rather than the Bricotta Desert. We can always transport ourselves to Celeste and then fall from Celeste into Bricotta. Uh, if we go the other direction, then we have to start at one end of town and weave all the way through, right? So, so yeah. Let's go ahead and we'll set this here. We can always reset it later. We just need to be able to come back here. Alright. So now, we're going to Town Portal to Arathia. Let's check and see what the bounty is, just in case. A queen dragonfly. Well, if we find one, we'll let you know. Okay. So. There we go. Kill all the griffins, and then capture Alice Hargreaves. Okay. So, with our buff still in place, love it. Although I am going to recast Torchlight just so it doesn't run out in the castle in case this takes a while. It shouldn't. Last time we were here under the effects of an invisibility spell, 
um, it ran out. And I would encourage y'all to jump over to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe there and find that video as part of this series. And uh, you can see our heist of Castle Griffinheart. Which went great right up until it didn't. Ew. What's that smell? It's the smell of goodness and light. But Okay, let's see here. We've already been here, so we just have to find Alice's room, which I think is that one right there. And it's not nearly as much of a concern this time because, of course, invisibility lasts for 15 hours now. <laughs> All right. Alice Hargreaves, here we go. Simone has the key, I think. I'm still, I can't remember what that's for. I keep thinking it's this door. But actually, I believe that this door just doesn't, like we clicked, clicked on it when we were here before and nothing happened uh, because I think it doesn't activate until you have this quest. Here we go. Hello? I, you, you don't look like William's normal people. Excuse me, but who might you be? Hey, hey, get your hands off me. Help. Help. I just want to go home. So, yeah, that's what it is. It just doesn't activate until you have this quest. We could teleport from here, but... I'm just going to step back good, outside so that that way when it breaks our invisibility we'll be someplace where our jewels are green. Okay, we will recall right back to Deja. Let's go talk to William. And I love that you don't look like William's usual people. Like, she gets kidnapped by him all the time and just, just deals with it. It's just a thing that happens, right? A pleasure to see you again. How may I assist you? Capital. You've shown dedication, daring, and the power of raw force. Certainly the imprisonment of such a fair and noble creature in this wicked place earns you the right to be called a villain. Or honorary villain. Go now upon the world and make all fear your name. Excellent. We shall definitely do that. Excellent. So, uh, yeah. And this... Y'all, this is so funny. This is so funny. <laughs> Considering all the things we've done and all the things that we're gonna do as part of the Path of Darkness, and we're just honorary villains. Like, good... Good job, guys. Good try. Good effort. We appreciate your spirit. Oh, gracious. Okay, well. Um, what's really important is that that means we are now eligible to train all the way up to level 40. Now, I want to make sure that we have the cash for that, too. So, that's going to be an important part of this because we had to buy some expensive spells and gear and, you know, get a lot of master level training, which is 8,000 a pop, that kind of stuff. We are, once again, not low on cash, but we don't have nearly as much as I would like to have, especially considering that, like, all four of them need to train. So we gotta make us some money. Get money, get paid. How are we gonna do that? Well. First things first, hmm. we have a Lloyd's Beacon set in Abilene. We can go and steal the dragon egg, perhaps, and we can steal the perfect bow from the Titan Stronghold. Both of those will be an experience, I promise. We also need to get uh, the altar piece from the Temple of Darkness in the pit, and we have permission to wipe the place out, just like we did the Temple of Light. 
Now, of course, you remember the Temple of Light. If you were here last Saturday, it was a bit of a fight. It took most of the episode, so... I uh, don't know if the Temple of Dark will be quite as difficult, but it's going to be full of similarly leveled enemies. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to let y'all decide which you would like to do first, right? Do you want to pull a couple of invisible heists, since we're already kind of doing that? Um, you know, having kidnapped Ms. Hargreaves. Do you want to continue in that vein and visit the Titan Stronghold in search of the perfect bow? Visit the Dragon Caves not far from there in search of the Dragon Egg? Or do you want to mix it up a little bit and perhaps we will go to the Temple of Dark and there's not going to be a whole lot of invisibility going on there. Um, I mean, we can either just walk in and get the altarpiece and call it a day, or more realistically, we're probably going to go in and, well, massacre everybody. Now, that'll be a lot of cash and experience points, and probably plenty of treasure as well, you know, besides just gold. But I'll leave it up to you. In the meantime, while you're thinking about that, we're going to head over to Erothia. Now that we've completed our quest, we're going to go back. Well, actually, see what day it is. Okay, it is Wednesday. So in that case, actually, I think we probably want to go to Celeste, maybe? And uh, we're going to hop a boat to the Evenmorn Islands, because you remember that we cleaned out the Church of the Sun, but not the Church of the Moon, right? So that should be a, uh, a nice little jaunt. Okay, Grand Temple of the Moon. Every time that I see this, like, this part right here, where it looks like it's cradling the moon and these horns up here, it's, it's very pretty and well done, but, you know, because it's in ruins, all I can think of is, um, whatchamacallit from Monty Python, like, you know, and then I build another castle, and that one burned down, fell over, and sank into the swamp. Here we go. The sound of unholy chanting and the screams and moans of the undead can be heard quite clearly from the entrance. Uh, Come on, let's go in. Hmm. Well, we know about these guys. These dudes are not going to be any more of an obstacle than the uh, priests of the sun were, I don't think. And yes, I have played my Magic Legacy. <sighs> Since you asked. It's not a bad game. I'm not a fan of the uh, DRM portion of it. But otherwise... Can't really complain. It's certainly a good looking game. Alright, let's see. Let's start with you on the right. You can see that they're like on their way to Lichdom or something. Like, look at their freaky hands. You might think that they're casting the blade spell, but actually that sound that you're hearing, because they use dark magic just like the Priests of the Sun use light magic, is the Shrap Metal spell, which we now, I believe, have? Do we? Did we get? Yes, there it is. Yeah, see? I don't know why this is dark magic, right? It's something physical. So, but it shoots out a spray of blades. There's more of them as you rank up your skill. It deals pretty decent damage, but for a steep cost. Okay, secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. 
This is such a weird shape tunnel. It's very claustrophobic in here. Oh no, a barrel light. What will we do? Guys. Hmm. We don't have telekinesis. We'll have to find another way in. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Already. Look at this. A telekinesis scroll, in fact. Nice. Thank you, guys. And this. Very weak. Also telekinesis. Now those will come in handy because mind magic is absolutely Suroma's worst skill. Or at least her worst magic, anyway. Telekinesis by itself is worth it, though. We need to get it eventually, but in the meantime, it's nice to have a couple backups. Just like having scrolls of town portal. You know, they're great for emergencies. Okay... the button 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 who's got the button I know you're in there come on come on okay we'll come back Who is shooting at us? You can't even see us. Come on, get out of here. You're no longer a threat. Remember when we were mildly afraid of those guys? Yeah, that day's come and gone. I'll sure spend a lot of your time hiding around corners for such terrifying monsters. <laughs> More floor cash. See, this is already helping. Ow! Just a cut. Oops. No problem. These aren't severe traps. Okay. Of course, this is a secret door. See, there we go. It opens from the other side. No harm done. We're gonna tear right through this place. Oops. I'm not even gonna identify some of this stuff because it's just not gonna be that great. Like green wands, Oops. for example, fairy wands can only have spells of a certain level in them. All right, we've done all this. Oh, I'm letting myself get lost. Here, back this way. There we go. Okay. Ah, yes, the upper floor. Oh, hello. Yeah, excuse us real quick while we just... Yeah, y'all, uh, y'all mind if we just... <laughs> Thank you, Zoltan, for setting the tone there. Okay, we're gonna head this way first. We'll come back to the secret door in a moment. There we go. You can see a little bit of skybox there, sort of. see them shooting toxic cloud at us well that's not gonna work out great for them because they're dead hmm. I don't even have anything in this bookcase uh well I mean there's a secret door right there but just like overall uh. nothing this is a weirdly set up library. A 
More cash. Excellent. Ow! Oops. Let's see. Make sure that we haven't picked anything up that's important that I have missed. Very weak. Eh. There we go. See, I knew there was something. It just wasn't letting me click on it a second time. Very weak. Cure poison. Here you can use that. Uh. Cure weakness. Great. Very weak. Body resistance. Sure. Ah. Uh. Hour of Power. Now, that is a really great buff spell. What Hour of Power does, if you don't remember from Might Magic 6 or weren't here for that series, is it casts a lot of the shorter duration buffs on your party, such as Stone Skin and Haste, um, hence Hour of Power. Unfortunately, it's a light spell, so we'll never use it. Powerful this is. Uh, oh, he's finally impressed by something. Powerful this is. Day of Protection used to be a dark magic spell in Might and Magic 6. Sensibly, it was moved over to Light Magic in Might and Magic 7. Day of Protection casts all of the protection spells on you, such as protection for magic, body resistance, and so forth. Again, light spell, though. Huh. And protection for magic, so... Well, that's a shame. Only a couple of low-level ones that we can one. use, but hey. Don't knock it. A free spellbook's a free spellbook. I am not upset to have it. See, okay, this is all good. That's the door we came through. There we go. Floor cash. Now, Simone, come on, get this one, baby. Ow. Okay, no, that's fine. Oops. Aha! Another one of the statuettes, though. You really can't. I mean, a free spellbook is... Even if you're not going to use it, right? It means some other wizard doesn't have it. Ah. Uh, and the big room. We will shield ourselves on the pews. I'm loving these critical hit kill quotes. He's toast. Uh, is that it? Is it just you and us, bud? Anytime you'd like to go down. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that would be somewhat less of a treasure, to be fair. Like, you're, you're right. That's the only time that I might turn my nose up at it because just, you know, I'm not the target demographic. And here we go. This is where we would, like, deface the altar if we had that quest. But we chose the Path of Darkness. Okay. Well, we certainly did what we came to do. Uh, I would love to set a Lloyd's Beacon here, but we just don't really have much reason to come back, except for the obelisk treasure, unless we were just going to, like, clear everything out. Now, on the other hand, remember how we got that Cloak of the Sun from the Temple of the Sun? Well, another reason I wanted to come back here was because... The Moon Cloak. Armor plus 11 and increases the effect of all dark spells. So, yeah, that's pretty good. There are very few items in the game that give this same kind of bonus, a scaling 50% skill bonus, to dark and light magic. Yes, ooh la la, indeed. Now, we're going to hang on to this because, of course, right now he's got this elegant Cloak of the Gods, which, you know, we're still riding that high. She's got a Cloak of Shielding, which is also pretty good. Um, so this is... 
Where did our scrolls of telekinesis go? Weird. Not sure where those went. They disappeared. Uh, hmm. But anyway, uh, their dark magic skills are not really sufficient to justify a change in equipment yet, just because both of them only have five ranks, even if they are experts, right? And that means they can only learn expert level spells, and they only have a couple of those. So we've got Toxic Cloud, which is not a bad attack spell. We've got Vampiric Weapon. Uh, you know, we have Reanimate. But when we are going to need that, and it's going to come in handy, is going to be when we start casting things like Armageddon and Dragon's Breath and so on. So when we have, like, someone at Grandmaster level, then, then the Moon Cloak will be a huge, huge thing. Because five ranks, oh my gosh, all at once? That's definitely going to be worth it. All right. So, uh, which one did y'all pick? Do you want to go to Avli and infiltrate the Dragon Cave and the Titan Stronghold invisibly? Or... Do you want to go to the Temple of Dark in the pit and start clearing it out in order to retrieve that other altar piece? All right. Well, in that case... Luckily for us, we can just Town Portal straight there and look at that. We still have all of our buffs on because <laughs> that's great. Okay. Well, let's head over that way then. We can fix you. Uh, we're good. Okay. This doesn't look too dangerous. <laughs> She says that, of course, because our awareness gems are green. Now, mostly... Oh, we may have a problem with this one. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of these, you know, priests of the moon and things. This should be easy. There's also going to be some vampires. Now, the last time we ran into vampires, uh, it was... It was a bit nasty. But, we're a lot more powerful now than we were then. Also, we have the advantage here, unlike when we were in the Temple of Light, right? What have we here? Did you honestly think you could tread safely amongst the power of the shadows? It would not be safe for you, and you are not allowed past this point. Well, uh, make a liar out of me. I was going to say, we can wander around in here, and we can get the lay of the land, um you know, kind of assess the terrain before we just start laying into people. But apparently, they don't want us to do that, and that's not the case. So. Well. No time like the present. Let's see, now this side... Yeah, they didn't like that either. Vampire, Elder Vampire. This right here is what's really going to challenge us. Um, if this is what they're considering to be their equivalent to, like, the angels and archangels, right? Um, because I was worried that there were going to be necromancers down here. And if it's just going to be vampires, I'm a lot less worried. But we still need to be careful. 56. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot less frightening than it used to be. Ooh, and he dropped a cloak, too. Okay, now see? That is why vampires suck, right there. Oh. Uh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. It's a good thing we don't need healing and they're not doing a lot of damage right now. 
and we've already got our spells on, you know, things like regeneration and stuff, they're going to last for quite a while, so we have the opportunity, even without her casting spells, with her having zero SP, to chew our way through some of these more dangerous enemies and create a space where we can rest and come back, or... The important thing is we just need to find a spot, clear it out, then we can set a Lloyd's Beacon there, and as long as Tuvok has spell points, we can come and go as we please, right? Well, you can't hide back there. Remember, one pixel is all that we need. Come on, move. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See, and look at that as hurt as she was because she's a body magic grandmaster now. Um, no her regeneration is powerful enough that she's already going back up to full HP. What's in here? Okay, this... Okay, this is just going to take us up this way. That's fine. We can use that as a vantage point if we need to. I think this is the same thing. Yeah. Overlooks the other side. So, not super useful to us, although... How did you get up here? Now, was he here just a second ago? I'm almost positive he was not. But I need it fixed. So what I'm going to do... There we go. We're going to go ahead and set our working beacon back over Bricotta. Ease down a little bit. Did everyone? Everyone left and went to that room. Well, that's both good and bad. Okay, there we go. Because if they're all piled up, then that means that they'll all be shooting at us at the same time. But on the other hand. Oh, those vampires make an annoying sound. Especially when there are a lot of them. Alright. The priests really aren't much threat. It's just the vampires. And even then, you know, only because they drain your SP. We do have mono regeneration items, um, but unfortunately they're kind of slow. But that's okay because we have all the time in the world, right? Alright. Are you by yourself down here? Yeah, you are. What also works in our favor is that Suroma mostly needs to heal, and as we've discussed, uh, her healing spell is effective right now, like just a regular heal, and it only costs 2 SP, so like, not a lot of harm done. Who's in here? Oh, just you. I thought there was one on the other side. Well, in that case... Have at thee. Now, let's see. Floor cash. Bookshelf. Nothing, really? Okay. Uh, we've got to get her disarmed trap so that we can get her up to master. In fact, she has these six bonus skill points. Let me go ahead and do that. That'll get her started, and then when she levels up, because of course we can train to level 40, we will absolutely take that first thing all the way up to rank 7. Ugh. 
Oops. Good dodge, everybody. Pain reflection. Uh, see, this is what I was talking about. Plus 50 to accuracy permanently. Oh, boy. Okay, who has the lowest accuracy? 46, 88, 47, 42. Honestly, so her accuracy is already pretty high. You can tell I've gotten her one of those potions. Let's give this one to Zoltan because he is our other heavy-hitting warrior. There we go. Permanently increased. And... Aha! There you are! See? I knew there was somebody else in here. He was just behind a fake wall. Come on. We may have a problem with this. I don't think we're gonna have a problem. I appreciate your caution, Zoltan, but I think we got this, actually. Okay. Let's see. Oop, I skipped Simone. Hey. You'll have to get rid of something first. Eh. Fire resistance. Shared life. Well, that's great to find for free, honestly, but she already knows it and... The other people who have spirit magic can't learn it. Oops. That one was a little more rough. Very weak. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Very nothing. weak. Very weak. Nothing. Oh yeah, we'll definitely sell it. Very weak. It's the next best thing, right? In fact, while I'm thinking about it. After all, this whole episode is about our cash flow problem, right? Okay, we will come back to that door that goes down over there. What did we get? Regenerate hit points over time. That's actually not bad. Everybody is regenerating HP and MP both at this point, though. Speaking of which, actually. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to recast Stone Skin because vampires. Oh, another one of these rooms. Okay. All we have to do is keep the benches between us and them, mostly. One hit. Whoa. Y'all, we've come such a long way. Look at this. Are we about five more levels waiting in the wings? How much more powerful are we going to be then? Love it. Can't wait to find out, and I'm glad y'all are here for it. Okay. Now, see, this connects to the other side. Make sure that we're not really missing anything. Now, this is a little bit different. We'll come back to that. But first, up here. Oh, buddy, you think you can get away. Ow. Just a cut, but I need it fixed. Really? Ow. Oh my goodness, quieten down. We will get to you, I swear. All right, listen. Oh, there's an elder vampire back there with them. Just gonna try and break up their sprites a little bit. These go down pretty quick. Ow. Oh no, oh no. He stole all of Simone's spell points. All 44 of them that she Ow. They really do, actually. Now that you've said that, I can't unsee it. Come on, can't you see I'm in distress here? Uh, there we go. Okay, come on. Ah, gross. Come on. There we go. I'm 
see if I can get him stuck on geometry. See, she's already regenerated because of her regeneration spell, though. Now I'm just waiting. Well, look how slow that SP regeneration is, though. There. Okay. Now... She really is. I appreciate it, though. Where she's just like, oh my god. He's toast. Ow. It's just a cut. But I need it fixed, y'all. need it fixed real bad. Okay. Let's sneak in here and see what's up. Anything? Thing. Thing is just, just you know, goblets for rituals. No big. Yeah, we know. See, look at that. Everyone's almost got uh, full HP back already. And yeah, yeah, the elder vampires are pretty rough. Even at this level, I, like I said, you know, I feel more confident in dealing and taking damage from them. It's the SP drain that really is the pain in the butt. That's the part that is good. Let's see. Red barrel. Hmm. Well, I guess that goes to Simone. This would be green. Yeah, she's still getting those. No harm done there. Let's see. Okay. There's nothing hidden back here that I can remember. There is something hidden here, though. Haha. -ha. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Okay. Now. Around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. There's the traps you can see that were shooting the poison at us. These green vampire dudes are nothing. Let's see. There does seem to be water or acid damage, so while I'm thinking about it... See, I knew there was another one. I saw ya. But I need it fixed. And is that all that's in this room? Okay, great, good. Ow! Ooh, yeah. It. See, look at this. This was absolutely the right decision, y'all. We have weak. got plenty, plenty no, of money know. now. Very weak. Plenty of money. There's no room. Okay, that's fair. And powerful this is. Lloyd's Beacon, really? Really, when we hunted and hunted for that? A free copy? Okay. Well, whatevs. I'm, I'm not mad about it. It's money. We just have to get it out of here. Let's see. Yeah. Well, we still got plenty of space, right? Ow! Okay. I thought I had it. Everyone ducks but her. That makes sense. Very weak. Very weak. Uh. Yeah, you need to pour out the salt for Tuvok. Ow. Goodness. Oops. Okay. Very weak. Very weak. Very weak. I don't know why I'm identifying some of this stuff, because a lot of it is, you know, going to be useless to us anyway. Ow. This is great, though. Her regeneration is so powerful that we're regenerating Very weak. almost completely back to full uh -huh. health in between traps. That's something. And we'll see if that helmet is any good. I boom, thought boom, I had boom, it. Boom. Very weak. Okay. Very weak. Dazzling ring. Uh. Ooh, plus three stealing and disarm. Hmm. 
pure accuracy. Ah, now isn't that what we just got, I think? Yeah. Okay, so then in that case, let's give that to Suroma. Plus 50 for her. We'll enchant this ring. Look at this. We're doing office Very work weak. in the middle of a dungeon. Armor class plus 14. Ooh, boy. Wow. Weirdly, Zoltan's the one who needs it. Oh, okay. Uh, what can we switch out? Luck plus 7, I guess. Yeah, there we go. And... Saroma could use some luck. Let's give that to her and get rid of one of her crummy rings. She has mostly good ones now at this point. Like, even this one's okay. We're resistant to poison. Um, that's probably less useful than the earth resistance now, though. We have so many ways to cure or prevent poison. So, we'll swap that. I'm going to do a safety so that I don't forget that I've done it and have to do it over. Okay, that one. So, this one's Ow. next. Oops. Yep. Huh. Another one of those. Very Excellent. Very weak. Very weak. Nice. Paladin Boots of the Stars. Plus 10 endurance and accuracy. Uh, that's hit points plus 12. How many hit points you got, girl? 197. Hmm. 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 There's I no wonder problem. what the endurance would do when we trade them out. Oh, wow. Okay, she's only losing four hit points because it boosts her endurance by ten. Plus, her accuracy is actually causing her attack to go up because it's a significant enough change. So, yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Let's trade them out. I can't fit anymore. I know, I know, I know. It's fine. You only have to carry it for a moment. Just long enough to enchant it, right? Okay, now. Two to five points of electrical damage. Hey, all right. Sure. I can't fit anymore. Here we go. We'll give this to her, and that will replace her five points of body damage. Excellent. Does that go there? Yes, okay. All right, folks. Folks, we're doing good. Grab this gold. Yeah, whatever. Okay, is it just gonna be y'all? If it's just gonna be you, I mean... Oop. Okay, no, it is a priest. Good. I thought for a second I saw another vampire. I was gonna be, like, you know... Something remotely resembling worried. But now I'm not... These are color-coded, too. Green, red, and blue. Oh. You should not have come up behind us like that. Anything? Anything? Why do none of these bookshelves have anything in them? Ah, there we go. Now see? And what was it, though? Day of protection. Hey, well. We'll save that for a boss fight since we can't cast it ourselves. If we go in to fight someone tough. Alright. This. It's gonna lead up to this ledge. Is there anything else? Ah. Ooh, I think that's a Grandmaster Scroll. Lloyd's Beacon. Oh my goodness gracious. There's no room! Really? Okay, yeah, we are starting to run out. But, you know what? That's fine. We can Lloyd's Beacon back here. Pick up more treasure later. Okay, folks, moment of truth. Wait a second. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I saw that blue dot and was like, wait a minute. Wait just a mo. Okay. Let's double check all of our protections. I'm going to go ahead and recast 
torchlight so it doesn't wear off in the middle of a fight. Other than that, it looks like we're good if we hurry. We still have hammer hands, regeneration, and protection from magic on. So if we get through this next fight pretty quickly, then we won't have to leave and come back or like rest separately or anything. Oh, are these just green boys? Sad green boys? Or we can kill them with bows and arrows. Oh man, y'all saw us shoot two of your friends, and then you decided to get into melee? That was a mistake. Wouldn't you think we were archers or something? Oh, I hear the sounds of an ill-advised priest doing combat with nobody because we're not there. We're here now. Look at all of these treasure rooms, folks. Oh, and we have a green space, too. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Purple, purple, purple. Hmm. Who has the lowest speed? Uh, Zoltan, actually. There we go. It's just a cut. Oops. If it's just a cut, stop complaining about it. Okay, Very come on, weak. that's pretty good, Tuvok. Like, you have to admit when something's at least decent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've reached the point where they can't pick anything else up. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. I think... I don't want to do, like too much inventory Tetris here, uh, but okay, yep, that's, that's fine there, okay, good, do that, and that, and that, boom, there we go, okay, green, orange, purple. Okay, green, orange, and we'll give her a purple one. Ow! Oops. Ooh. So much stuff. There's no room! No space. There's no room! Ooh, okay. Well, that's it. We've. Uh, he is an elitist. Honestly. Very like, weak. He really just. Very weak. Uh, is so, so picky. I mean, he's only impressed by, like, Master and Grandmaster level spell books. It's kind of obnoxious. Okay, let's see. Alright, yellow, orange, yellow, green, red. So let's do yellow, orange, yellow, green, red. And... Ow! We'll Oops. pick up all this cash because we can carry an infinite amount of that. Very weak. Uh, I love the way these things look. Now, I am going to come back because it's about time to put this stream to bed. Um, I'm going to pick up all of the stuff in these treasure chests that we can't carry right now, and I will take it and sell it in between streams. No harm done. It's not like that's interesting to watch or anything. At least I assume it's not. If y'all feel, like, strongly differently and you really want to watch me play, uh, you know, Inventory Tetris and to, like, um, you know, watch me sell things, then, hey, you know, uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Pillowfort and comment to let me know. Or you can also, of course, comment and like the video when I upload it on YouTube as well. And actually do subscribe in all of those places um, if you're not already. Because you know I love that. So. Alright. Haha. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Love that. We're almost to the end of the Temple of Dark. So we are going to 
Wow. Finish clearing this place out. We're gonna find that altar piece. And then... We're gonna call it a night. I'll take care of the housekeeping and the bookkeeping in between. And y'all, I hope, will come back and join me next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is my uh, Miami and New York time here in the U.S., for the next installment of Might and Magic 7. Oh, and again, don't forget to stop by, too, if you've got the time and the inclination to... Uh, visit my Twitch channel on Mondays and Thursdays as well. Uh, you'll, if you're, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy, especially of Final Fantasy 7, then, uh, you will love specific pixels, like, mostly blind Let's Play of Final Fantasy 7. It's great. He's having a blast. I'm having a blast just watching him experience it for the first time. So, please come to that. I know that he'll really appreciate it. And, uh, Stop by on Thursdays for Titan Quest, too. Let's see. Is this... Is it just a pit? This is the pits, y'all. That's just to get back up if you fall down there, I suppose. Well, now, come on. Where's where's the altar piece? Where even was that? Why was that there? Eh, I forget. Well, anyway, I think the altar piece is, like, right here. Maybe. Is it... Ah, there we go. Yes. It's at the very beginning, you see, because, remember, we were told that we could just waltz in here and take it if we wanted to. We didn't have to do any of this, but we're villains, right? Or, well, you know, honorary villains. So, yeah. There is the other altar piece. We have both halves. So, we will start out the next episode by taking both of those to Castor, completing his quest and getting another metric butt-ton of experience points. And I think with 138,000 gold and a little more on the way after we finish clearing out what's left of the treasure in this place, y'all, um... We might be able to afford to level up. We just might be able to do it course we do have to train to level 40 already which is going to be five levels per person and after we turn in this quest i mean probably level 41 but i think we can handle it our cash flow problem is solved for the moment and i'm glad that y'all were along for the ride thank you for joining me thank you for being here i hope to see you again next saturday for more might and magic 7 and as always Thanks for playing.